think I'm gonna go grocery shopping today. I'm making my meal plan right now, trying to figure out what we already have so I can only buy the things I need and stuff for lunch and that kind of thing. So I thought I'd do it a little bit different this time. I'm gonna show you my meal plan and my grocery list, and then I figured I'd take you around the store and show you what everything costs. I know a lot of people don't have HEB and everyone always says that we get a lot of food for the amount of money we spend, which I feel like we do too. So I thought I'd show you guys the prices so you can kind of compare it to where you are and your stores that you go to. So let me show you what I'm working on and then we'll head to the store. So this week I want to make some patty melts. I'm just kind of writing down what I'm going to need for each thing and then I'll make a list. Some patty melts sounded good. And then we already have the meat in the freezer for that. We also have some chopped up either steak or stew meat or some kind of beef in the freezer. So we're going to make some kebabs on the grill. I found a recipe for honey garlic meatballs and that sounded good. And we already have the meat for that too. Some kind of wings. I don't know what kind yet. We also have those in the freezer. And then I saw the other day a recipe for street corn chicken. I can't remember where I found it. Probably the same place I found the honey garlic meatballs. And that just sounded good, so we're going to make our own version of that. So I'm just going through looking to see what I have. I know for the meatballs we need honey. We have some. I'll have to see how much we need. Ketchup. How many ketchups do we have left? We ended up with like four in this cabinet. Yeah. And there are two left in there, so we have plenty of ketchup. I need brown sugar. That's plenty of brown sugar. Yep. Five spice powder. Which one is it hiding in? Bless you. You got plenty of that.
Okay, so we just got back from H-E-B. The boys are eating the Lunchables they got because apparently I starved them to death even though they had breakfast. They were hungry. Shopping's hard work, huh? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so this is everything we got this week. Just don't mind the cheese and stuff all over the table from these two. <laughs> Here's all the produce and pantry stuff, and then we have cold stuff over here. So I'll show you this so I can get it put away and they can finish their Lunchables. For breakfast, we got some cinnamon waffles and some cream cheese and strawberry toaster strudels, which finally went up in price. Not very much, but that's okay. I got some vegetable egg rolls to go with some, what am I making? Honey garlic meatballs. And then Garrett had to have some more of these fizzy, slushy go -gurt things that sound gross to me, but I haven't tried them, so... We got some Monterey Jack cheese for patty melts and then some Colby Jack just for sandwiches because we got some shredded deli ham. I grabbed some more of these brown and serve Vermont maple links. I want just like regular ones, not maple. I mean, these are good, but the only ones I had were beef and they were more expensive. Grab some queso fresco for street corn chicken that we're going to make. We needed some more butter, so I grabbed that, and then another thing of tub butter, just because we use this for, like, toast and quick stuff, so you don't have to let your butter get warm. Tucker picked out some cinnamon rolls. We got some more vanilla yogurt. Oh, I didn't even look to see if I got those coupons. Surely I did, right? It was like, if you bought... So much butter products, it was like $2 off, and then so many sour cream, cottage cheese, and something else, I think you got $2 off. I'll have to check the receipt, even though it doesn't tell me which ones I got. It should. That way you know. Anyway, I don't know what I said already now. Yogurt, cottage cheese. I got two things of sour cream because I saw Taylor Elmore make this blueberry breakfast cake the other day and it looked so good so it needs sour cream and then we just needed sour cream for regular stuff we grabbed some shoe string shoe string fries goodness i'm hungry and i need to eat these are the most like fast food fries to me if you throw them in the air fryer so we got these to go with our patty melts I got some more almond milk. They didn't have the vanilla, but that's okay. Got a gallon of milk. We got some broccoli to go with Chinese food, and then this broccoli stir-fry blend. I just like to eat this for lunch with whatever we have, leftover chicken or sometimes just noodles. Got some corn for the street corn chicken. And then we grabbed a big bag of chicken wings. We have some in the freezer, but I don't think they were, I don't think we had enough left. So we just went ahead and got some more. Okay, so for everything else, I guess the Lunchable wasn't enough because now they're eating leftover pizza. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Did you get any of it in your mouth? Just on it. Is it good? Yep. We got some... Captain Crunch, basically. They had a coupon on the Malto meal, Malto meal cereals. We got some regular potato chips, some sparkling waters. I was out of Bisquick, so I just went ahead and grabbed some of that. Same with the sugar. I grabbed some dill, sea salt, and olive oil triscuits. I needed a different nail polish remover because the one I have doesn't have acetone in it, and I'm guessing that's why it doesn't work good. It takes forever to get nail polish off. And I grabbed some cotton balls too. My stomach is growling. We grabbed a couple boxes of this pasta salad. They were buy one get one free. So we got the classic one and then I've never seen this one before. I don't know if it's new or not, but I've never tried it. Creamy Italian. So I grabbed those. The boys got some cereal bars, mixed berry, and then some cookies and cream granola bars. 
We already have one box of this macaroni in the pantry, but we're having macaroni with a dinner one night and I thought I'd just grab an extra box just in case. And then Garrett just wanted some regular macaroni for lunch or something. I got some more black olives for salads, refried beans to go with our street corn chicken. We grabbed some of this chopped ham, it's basically spam. It was on sale. We got some pears to go with the cottage cheese. That's what Adam likes to eat in it. I eat it with like green onions or black olives and salt and pepper, but he likes it with fruit in it. Then Tucker saw a fruit cocktail and he wanted some of that. I grabbed some baking soda, some bacon bits for salads, and then these Whataburger salsas were, were they buy one, get one free? Yeah. So for both of them, it was like $3 on something. So we got the pecani, pe blah, blah, blah. why can't I talk today? Pecani sauce, and then the salsa verde. We were out of rice vinegar, I noticed the other day, so I got some more of that, and then some more apple cider vinegar. Some honey for the honey garlic meatballs and for, what are we making? Honey chipotle wings. We were out of jelly, well, jam, I call it jelly. We don't buy jelly. Got some more grape jam for sandwiches for the boys, and then we're making some patty melts, and so I thought the Whataburger sauce that comes on the patty melts would be good. So we grabbed some of that. And then some, are there even actually peppers in here? Because it just feels like the sauce. I know, it's weird, right? <laughs> Usually we buy the cans of Chipotle peppers because we like to use the sauce out of it too. And they're, the little cans, last time we got one, it barely had any sauce in it. And Adam saw this today, so we grabbed this. And I don't know if there's actually, I guess there's a little, there's something in there. But it feels like mostly sauce, which is what we want. So we grabbed that for our wing sauce. Are you almost done? <laughs> oh, I didn't look to see if I got those free either. I don't know if it worked for that or not. When we bought the bacon bits, there was a coupon for free, it said strips, like the tortilla strips or wonton strips, but I'm assuming these counted too because they're in the same section, so got some crispy onions. I was going to buy some of these at the Asian market the other day, but they're super expensive, so I just grabbed these to put in ramen noodles. Speaking of ramen, we just bought all those ramen, but the boys don't like that kind, so we got them some chili lime shrimp and some of the regular shrimp. Tucker picked out, you got cherry? I thought you got strawberry. Yeah, I want to say cherry. No, I guess not. I wasn't paying attention. Tucker got cherry jello, and then Garrett picked out butterscotch pudding. We grabbed, I've been grabbing little packs of these at the gas station when I go, and they're really good. These watermelon, they have like a tamarind sauce. Tucker really likes them, huh? Yum. They're really yummy. You need to clean your face when you're done, silly. But at HEB, they have bigger packs and they're cheaper, so I grabbed one of those. We got some more jasmine rice because we're almost out. And then these, I didn't know they were this little when I saw them on the app for the coupon. But, that's fine. These were buy one, go one free, and they're only a dollar, I think, so. We got two of those little tins of butter cookies. And I was telling Adam that anytime I see a tin like this, all I can see is someone's sewing kit because that's what everybody puts their sewing stuff in, including me. We grabbed a case of water. They were out of the H-E-B brand, but we just got some Ozarka. And then the boys picked out some high C juice boxes, or if you can call that a juice box. Some Kool-Aid, basically. We got some Texas toast for patty melts. And then I went ahead and grabbed some English muffins. I might eat one of those now with some ham and cheese on it because I am starving. We got some more flour tortillas. These were on sale and they just sound really good. They're apriums. Part, a part? I think my mouth is broken today. Part apricot, part plum, all delicious. So hopefully those are good. I thought the boys would like them. 
We got some more of these mini peppers. We haven't gotten them in a while, so I picked some up. Some cherry tomatoes. Not cherry tomatoes. What are these? I call them cherry tomatoes. Tiny tomatoes. Just because we are still getting some off our plant. The hornworm didn't ruin at all, but we're not getting as many as we were. I don't know if we need them for anything specific, but I just grabbed them. I grabbed two containers of blueberries because one the boys will just eat and then the other one is for that blueberry breakfast bread that sounded so good. I grabbed a couple of limes to go with our street corn chicken. Grabbed the boys some rainbow mini carrots to snack on and those sound good too. I got a big sweet yellow onion for patty melts. A couple of sweet potatoes just for me for lunch. I have bacon Caesar salad kit. One big cucumber because all the regular cucumbers looked nasty this time. And then we got some corn on the cob. So that's everything we got this week. And we spent, do you remember? You don't remember. You weren't paying attention. It was $160 and some odd cents. So that wasn't too bad for everything we got. And then I kind of showed you the meal plan when I was writing it down, but this is easier to look at. No particular order, and I only have five planned meals, but by then Adam will be off work, I think. How many days do you have left at work? Eight. Five. Perfect. We're going to have patty melts with fries one night. <clears throat> we're going to make some steak kebabs with some meat we have in the freezer, and with that we're going to have corn on the cob and that pasta salad, one of those pasta salads. We're going to make some honey garlic meatballs. I want to make them in the crock pot, but I didn't want to buy already done meatballs, and we already have the meat to make them, so I'll just brown them in a skillet and then throw them in the crock pot. And with that, we'll have some rice, broccoli, and egg rolls. Tonight, because it's the fastest thing on here, we're going to make these honey chipotle wings. They're like, I don't know if we've made them as wings before. I feel like we have, but... I used to make the copycat chilies, honey chipotle chicken crispers all the time, and that's the sauce. And it's going to be really good on wings, and we'll just have some mac and cheese and salad with that. And then we have street corn chicken with Mexican rice and refried beans. Say bye, Angus. He's like, what'd you get for me? You just want Tucker's pretzel. You silly. Anyway, so that's all we got, and I think I'm going to include dinner in this video. I'm not sure. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Boing! Boing! Boing!